Bonjour. It's time once again to go racing here in Montreal, the second largest French-speaking city in the world and home since 1978 to the Canadian Grand Prix. It's one of the fastest races of the season here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve, with around 60% of this 2.7 mile circuit taken at full throttle. There are 14 corners to navigate, the very last of which has its very own infamous history. Could be the cause of a safety car today. Anthony Davidson also joins me in the commentary box today. Now I want to ask you about Lewis Hamilton. That was a great podium in the last race. So can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have the owner driver, Hamilton, Lance Stroll, and Perez, Ricardo, Albon, Sainz, and Lando Norris. Fiat, Vettel, they've taken a grid penalty. Nobuharu, Matsushita, and Ocon. Gasly, Verstappen, Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen. Russell, Raikkonen, Latifi and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. And here we go, everybody. We are go! The start of the Canadian Grand Prix and what a start I've got. And I'm into first place, there is nothing anyone can do about that. There are battles behind us though. Everyone else seems to be getting away quite cleanly. There's a battle between the racing points there. There doesn't seem to be any incidents, which is very good. What we want. A great clean start. I love the start of every Grand Prix. They're always so close. It's the only time we really get to see a lot of position changes. At the moment, there don't seem to be many, which is quite strange. No one seems to be taking any risks. Maybe they're going to wait for the pit stops. Everyone's bunched up. Maybe someone will try and make a move on this straight here. My teammates doing okay at the moment. The Alfa Romeos, I really do love their car. I wish they'd do better. They're fighting with the Williams at the moment. Back at the front, I am pulling a bit of... Yeah, I'm actually pulling a bit of a gap ahead. Now, I'm trying to get away from the Mercedes. Bottas is doing very well to stay in second. Hamilton is not doing too good at the moment. He's not going to be happy being behind his teammate. But here he goes. He's trying to get back into this race. This is only the second lap and already there are gaps forming. I think it's... The fact the Mercedes have put on the medium tyre. It's what they qualified on rather than the soft tyre. The soft tyre is working really well at the moment. Yes, I know they'll be able to stay out a lot longer than everybody else, but is it really going to help them in the long run? Everybody else it seems to be... Yeah, everyone else is settling into their positions. As I was saying about the Mercedes, is it going to be worth it when I'm pulling up a bit? I'm pulling off a bit of a, a bit of a gap now. 
And if I pull off a big enough one, then them staying at longer is not really going to help them anyway. So they might as well have just started on the soft tyre. But anything can happen in a race. This is a battle of the, in the midfield of the race. People are out of position. There's a lot of drivers who shouldn't be where they are. My teammate seems to be holding everybody up. He's not fast enough to be up there. Alpha males are doing quite well. a commanding lead by myself Bottas in his soft tyre, in his medium tyre just cannot keep up Hamilton is getting into the groove of things, he can't seem to get past the Ferrari in the soft tyre but that is not going to stop him Leclerc is doing a fantastic job of keeping Hamilton behind him the Mercedes are just on another level, but their tyre choice, I don't know if it was a good thing for them to have done that. Hamilton's really not going to do well here. He's losing ground to myself and Bottas every single lap. The longer he's stuck behind Leclerc, the less chance he has of winning this race. Oh, he's going for a move. No, too far back for now. Maybe on the next lap. Oh, is he going to try something here? No, he's getting closer. It's helping the racing points. They're catching this battle. Leclerc and Hamilton fighting is allowing the racing points into this race. Can they get past these guys? Can it help them? Lance Stroll is doing a great job here, followed by Perez. Any positions changing at the moment? I am pulling ahead quite well here. The fast, faster tyre on my car is helping me tremendously. Bottas is trying his best to keep up. He's having a lot. He's having more luck than his teammate though, because Leclerc is keeping Hamilton behind. You can tell the difference. Yes, Ferrari are good, but Mercedes are leaps and bounds ahead of the competition. But his slower tyre is keeping him back. If he had a faster tyre on, he'd be able to get past no problem. And he'd probably be in second place ahead of Bottas. Maybe even first. McLarens are trying their absolute best here to get into this race. They need to get points, they need to start getting their team back up the leaderboard in the constructors because they're not doing too great at the moment. Hamilton, he's got past him at last, but is it too late? Is it too late for him? He's going to have to do something incredible now just to catch up to Bottas and myself. I'm a 
Hamilton is pulling ahead already. Crazy. Hamilton's pace is crazy. I don't think he's going to be able to catch Bottas. Now Bottas is a bit too far. He might be able to catch me once, once I've been in the pits. But I don't know about Bottas. Look at the rest of this. Look how close they all are. Yeah, he seems to be stuck behind the right now. starting to pit now. This is going to spice the race up. I'm wondering how fast the Mercedes are going to be when they put the softer tyre on. Everybody else is getting onto the mediums, aren't they? battling oh this is great he's producing some battles again oh is he gonna get past no he's still behind him Lance Stroll and Perez have done really well but especially Lance Stroll he's he's in with a chance of getting on the podium if he can keep it up he's battling with Hamilton at the moment I don't know how much time Hamilton's gonna have lost with his fight earlier but, if he doesn't get on the podium, he's definitely going to finish 4th or 5th. I'm not sure Leclerc has done a good enough job at the moment. Here we go. When will these guys go into the pits? It's what we need to know. I'm in and out. I'm on the medium tyre now, continuing where I left off, racing well. Oh, that was a bit wide there. Tyres still haven't heated up as much as they should have done, but we'll get there. Claren are doing okay at the moment, better than they were doing. All of these have got to go into the pit still. They're on the faster tyre, aren't they? They've got to go on the softer. I mean the medium tyre, sorry. Once all of these have gone in the pits, everyone's positions will become clear then. So at the moment, everybody's a bit mixed up. is doing really well he's trying to pull a gap off here but I don't think it's going to be enough who is going to go in the pits first Bottas or Hamilton there we go see everything's starting to pan out now everybody's getting into position they're all coming into the pits it's just the Mercedes left God knows what my teammate's doing. He's just not with it at all. Here we are. Now he continues around. Bottas continues. And Hamilton is in the pits. Which means I go straight back into second place. Now, I continue my quest for a victory. I continue the battle with Bottas. I've just got to try and catch up with him now. Here comes Hamilton. He is well clear of Leclerc. Yeah, Hamilton's clear of them. 
it looks like if Hamilton doesn't have any problems, Hamilton's going to be finishing in third. We've got a battle between Leclerc, Stroll, Perez, and the Rebels on his own. Vettel is here. The rest of the field seem to be falling back now from the front group. Bottas is into the pits. I don't think he's done enough at all to stay ahead of me. Yeah, I'm going to be taking the lead back. question is where is he gonna come out compared to Hamilton I retake the lead of the Canadian Grand Prix I've just got to keep this pace going now here comes Hamilton is Hamilton gonna be able to take Bottas mm. now Bottas is gonna stay out in second place but Hamilton is third obviously Leclerc fifth is Stroll. Stroll is putting the clerk under some pressure here. The racing points seem very racy on this track. Stroll wants to do well on his home Grand Prix. Can he do it? Can he get into fourth place? Red Bull versus McLaren. We haven't had one of these sort of battles for a while. Though no, it's obviously not for a great position, but still, we'll take what we can get from this. I'm looking forward to McLaren finally getting back up to the front again when they upgrade their car. I'm sure next season is going to be even better than what this season has been so far. Hamilton hasn't run away with the championship. Mercedes kind of starting to pull away but Red Bull are pushing them and I think McLaren are going to be up there at some point same with Ferrari Renault Alfa Tori those two teams seem to be stuck in the midfield battle I'm doing okay on the medium tyre Bottas doesn't seem to be doing enough to catch me. Same with Hamilton. I think these positions are set now. First, second and third. Unless there are any engine problems between those three. That's got to be it, I think. But the battle is still on for fourth place. This is very close between two people now. Stroll and Leclerc are pulling ahead of Perez. Stroll is doing absolutely everything to get into fourth place. Can he do it? They definitely knew the new need a new engine supplier. <laughs> These two are still battling. They've been battling the entire race. He just cannot get past him, can he? I've waited years for a McLaren and Red Bull to be battling each other again. 
waited even longer for a McLaren and Ferrari to battle each other. Now I've finally got one and it's been for the entire race. Sadly, it's not for a win though. Is he actually ever going to overtake McLaren? It's taken him an entire race. He's just stuck behind him. At least he's not alone though. They haven't had a lonely race. They've just got on with it and done what they could. Everyone else seems to be in the same positions. They're not really doing anything, are they? Teammates look back as usual. Getting disappointed in my teammate lately. It's starting to make it more and more likely that I'll replace him at the end of the season. I've only kept him because I could not afford a new driver when his contract ran out last time but at the end of the season I'm, I'm thinking I'll replace him. Nagaharu just hasn't. I've invested in him and he's just not done anything. We are dominating this race. We're coming on to the last lap soon. I think these are the positions. I'm definitely first. Bottas is second. Hamilton is third. Leclerc is fourth. Stroll is fifth. Perez is sixth. And I think that is how they are going to finish. Stappen. I've been disappointed in the Red Bulls in this race. I don't know what Verstappen and Albon have been doing. They just haven't been at the races have they? Vettel, I um, underst understand Vettel, Vettel has good races and he had bad, bad races, this is one of his not so good races, he's not been anywhere near his teammate. Here we go, starting the final lap of the race, I think this victory is, is a definite now. On to the last lap and I am still in first, huge gap ahead of the Mercedes. This has been more dominant by myself. It's one of my favourite races though, Canada. There's some races where I struggle and I've managed to put up a fight and there's some where I've just I've been nowhere near them. This has been a completely different race for me. Oh, here we go. Lance Stroll is finally making a move on Leclerc. Is he going to get fourth place in his home Grand Prix? He's on the inside as well. Oh, this is crazy. Are they going to crash? Look here. How has he lost this position? He's lost fourth place to Lance Stroll. Can he get it back? This is the last lap of the race. Oh, and behind, we've got Perez under severe pressure from Verstappen. Who is going to do it? Oh, this is just crazy. Oh, Leclerc, he's not getting back up there. Stroll has left it. He, he is did it at the exact time. I, I'd expect myself to have done it. Leave it till the last lap. Do the most damage. Leclerc is buggered. It's caught him out, that has. Okay, everywhere else. <laughs> These are still in the same position. What a race, though. I have won the Canadian Grand Prix. Bottas is second, Hamilton is third, in fourth place, Lance Stroll. Fifth place, Leclerc, these two, finishing the same position they've been the entire race. What a race. losing theirs and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car to maximize the strategy and to stay out of trouble here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for formula one
And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Max Verstappen. See, Max Verstappen got driver of the day for being stuck behind Sainz the entire race. Albon did better than Verstappen, but he was still stuck in the same position as well. Lance Stroll. I'd well, probably, I don't know if I'd give him, probably give him drive of the day. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Number Haru, oh, again, this man, I don't know what, I don't know why I've got him as my teammate. That was an exciting Here we go. Alright, what are we going to say to her? Let's have a look. Who would you say is your, biggest, would you say is your biggest rival at the moment? Oof. Um, I don't know. Give me Leclerc. We all underestimated you, didn't we? We all under and underestimated you. you it was a team win. On the walls today. Were you struggling for grip, or did you just misjudge some corners? <laughs> <laughs> pretend I'm forgetful. I don't, know, I don't know what you're talking about. She's happy because I answered all three questions. Very rare for me to answer three questions on this. I usually say no comment. Yeah, I've picked a new rival. There we go. Leclerc is my new rival. I started behind Nobuhara with the acclaim and now I've just gone ahead of him. Right, uh, what's that? Sponsors, renewal, yes, okay, activities. Let's set these up. Mm, what do we want? Cash, yes. Facilities, mm. marketing zero durability, so expensive. R&D chart. Our car is getting there. It needs to, we're good in the powertrain. It's we got to upgrade these though. Chassis and aero. Durability. Mm. We'll get there with the durability. Here we got this. Here we got our sponsors. Here are the standings though. I'm in third place. It's pretty close in the drivers. It's the it's the constructors. Mercedes have won this one. My teammates just what can I say? What a joke. We're more trading wins here, aren't we? And I got fastest lap as well. That's fantastic. So an extra point there helps. Nobuharu. Oof. Okay. We'll see how he does at the end of the season. Actually, how long is his contract? I don't think it lasts a year a season, does it? How many months is his contract? 21 days left. They get rid of him in 21 days. I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to afford anybody. 
I will go to wait for his contract to run out before I replace him. Mick Schumacher. I'm wondering if anybody else saw swap drivers at the end of the season. Or will it just be me? I hope it's going to be as unpredictable as 2019 when he had like some crazy driver just suddenly switch and end up on a terrible team. I remember on my first playthrough on 2019, Hamilton ended up in. Where was he? Renault? No. Yeah, he joined Renault first. Then he joined Alfa Romeo. Each time he joined them. Before he joined them, the season before, they were doing good. When ever he joined a team, they were the worst afterwards. They didn't upgrade the car. So I'm hoping I'll see something like that on this. Let's advance the time and get ready for the next race. So I'll see you all there. Okay, we've had the new parts come through from the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. 